to integrate or not integrate? That's the question. It's a question we're often asked by potential clients that have the software Clio and also have QuickBooks. And oftentimes we find that they don't connect the two software and they're really missing out on a very important and powerful part of the whole workflow. So in the intricate world of law firms, integrating legal, legal technology and financial systems is not just a convenience, it's really a necessity. And I've seen firsthand how the fusion of these two systems can streamline your operations, it can enhance your accuracy, and ultimately drive your firm's success. So why should you integrate? And this is one, like I said, a question we get often asked, like when we ask the client, do you integrate the software? Is Clio standalone or is it connected? A lot of times I say, well, my, my friend, my uh, another attorney friend told me never integrate these two, don't connect these two software because it just makes a big mess. So a lot of times that might be the answer, but that's not exactly true. Usually when we see that, it means that it was either improperly set up or not managed. And if you don't manage your systems and you don't manage your workflow all the time, mainly monthly, making sure that everything matches with a three-way bank reconciliation, you're going to find a very large mess on your hands. And really when you connect Clio with QuickBooks, you'll find that you've got this powerful tool of accounting software connected to another powerful tool that takes care of all of the customer side transactions. Right to if you use Clio Grow, which is their software, which I, a lot of clients, I find a lot of firms don't use, but it's really a good software to use. You can track the lead gen, and then you can move it into where it becomes a client and you can manage all the client information there. There's places to connect um, your documents, there's templates in there. A lot of these tools go unused where you could save yourself a lot of time. So that's the biggest thing. But the most important factor about streamlining these two is the accounting and the billing are integrated. And with QuickBooks, that is going to allow for the automatic transfer of all that billing information. So you're not doing the billing over here. And then on this side, you're actually re-importing or retyping all the bills in this side. So you're doing your billing here. It's going to push into the software. Now, there are drawbacks. Quick, Clio is a one-way sync. So once you've pushed that data in, know that if you start to make changes in the data, it is going to affect the other side because it can't. it's going to see it as a new transaction and push it in. So you have to be very careful in how you manage the correcting of Clio. Make sure that the corrections land in the QuickBooks side, just what you want to see, or you may have to tweak and, and change them over there. But for the most part, you do your billing, you push it over, it goes into QuickBooks. It's very quick and easy. You're gonna get professional looking in invoices on the Clio side that'll push the data into QuickBooks. You can manage your accounts receivable there. The other part of this is you've got, in Clio, you've got the financial uh, tracking. So you're gonna be able to track a lot of the financial side. You're gonna be able to track by practice area if you have multiple practice areas. Uh, it's gonna give you a clearer financial picture if you push it over and you're accurately tallying it up and doing a three-way reconciliation every month. That's where you're going to get that accurate financial data. Your trust will be compliant. And here's the big one, because a lot of times people don't even go with, a lot of attorneys don't want to spend the money on the software and they don't understand that spending the money on the software is going to keep your records compliant. You're not going to be able to, in the Clio side, if you're creating an invoice and you go to pay yourself with trust, if there's not enough money there, you can't pay yourself. You can't overstate the trust. So it's locked down. I think that's one of the crucial areas that's missed a lot of times. It's important for um, keeping the trust compliance and holding your records to high compliance standards. There's a simplified reconciliation process. So you're going to print out, uh, or print the PDF, the report in Clio, which is gonna give you all the line items of all the balances in trust. And then you're gonna reflect that on the other side. You're gonna look at your balance sheet and look at those totals. If you're using the method where you're taking everything with Clio goes into the client trust liability account in one bucket. We go in and reclassify it using the reclassify tool and, and reclassify it down into the sub matters. So you're creating a mirror image of what's in Clio to what's in QuickBooks. It's easier to spot those items. And of course we use our live flow tool. You'll find that using that tool is gonna to make it really easy once you it's kind of plug and play. You're going to have better uh, client service with these integrated systems. You're not going to have to, a lot of fingers inside your accounting. You're going to keep your attorneys and, and everybody that needs to be working in the client side inside a Clio. And that keeps it so that the owner and, and the accountant and the bookkeeper 
in the account are going to be the ones that are inside of QuickBooks. We keep that really pristine. Uh, any billing inquiries can be handled inside of Clio, so it can be handled from your staff inside of the Clio side. Um, you can also get your financial information right out of QuickBooks. So that's the whole picture, the whole enchilada, as we like to say. So there is a lot of pluses and minuses to connecting. Some of the minuses I hear, I hear from clients is I want to do it, but there's a huge learning curve. There's a steep learning curve to learning how to use both software together. Uh, one of the other minuses I hear is that people will say they struggle with using setting up Clio. So putting, getting the synchronization in, in order. And, and it is very critical to set up the right accounts as you back code the integration of the system, any system that you connect to QuickBooks, you really need to know what you're doing. So you want to hire a professional to get you set up to put those accounts in the right, the right um, uh, categories. It's something we teach here at the Law Lab. So if you're interested in learning that, so it's part of what we've taught in the past and certainly can go over again. Uh, there is also some cost implications. I hear that from attorneys too. As you start to work with the attorneys, you're going to say, oh, they're going to say, oh, I don't want to spend that kind of money on Clio. Not understanding, and it's really an education process with clients that you have to take the time to talk to your client and say, you know, the cost of Clio, which is nominal per user, say, let's just say it's about $65 right now when I'm recording this video is not that much for the time savings and the accuracy and the speed of which the data gets put inputted into the system. So that's really important to, to really go over with them. There is a cost to it, just like with the accounting software QuickBooks, but it's worth it to spend that money in the long run. You're just gonna have better records and more compliant records. There may be data security concerns and you know any integration may revolve around some sharing data with other systems. You might have to share data with Clio if you're getting that put uh, into their program if you're moving to Clio from any other software. You might find that there's some data security concerns. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. They're a professional firm, highly, highly um, re regarded in our industry and they have a system in place to actually move that data over. Always check your data though. Once it's done and imported in, make sure your numbers tally into the old system and the new system align perfectly. Uh, there may be some limitations to customization. You might hear that from clients that say, well, I had this file number and now they're calling everything. I used to call it a case. And now in here it's called a matter. And it's just, that's just part of learning new system and learn, learning different technology. Uh, it does take a little getting used to if you're used to saying the word file, uh, file number, or instead of that saying matter, but you, you will get used to it eventually. You may consider um, another probably place that people somewhat complain is that sometimes their software updates. And it, might, and it might even actually affect your integration and functionality, but for sure that doesn't happen too often. And I think that sometimes people worry a lot about something that is not really gonna happen. Uh, integrating can be a challenge. There's gonna be some time, you have to factor in training and you're gonna have to factor in months worth of, I'd say 90 days, a 90 day window of converting from one system to the other. If you're moving over to a new system, it's not, a cookie cutter, flip the light switch on, and now you're using Clio. It takes time to learn the software. It takes time to make sure the integration went properly, making sure that everything was in there. There's a new workflow. All of these things are, are challenging sometimes, especially for our clients. So you want to really let them have a really, if you're working with a client and helping them through an integration or a migration from another software, make sure that you sit with them and tell them set their expectations wider than what they actually should be. So they'll feel confident in their knowledge of learning the software. And like, I already figured this out. I just did two billing runs and now I've got it, I've got it down pat. If it's different, it's different. And it takes a bit of time and practice to be able to get our systems aligned so that we can really move into the new software with ease. You might need some training or support uh, that comes along when we do any migration, we always train and help support the staff as they start to make these changes because sometimes things are just different and then learning how to maybe go from no software to Clio, it's a little bit different and they have to think about how do I enter this? How does this look in the software? Things like that, like maybe a credit memo or a ref refund of some sort. Those are things that we usually will help a client with because it might be a sticking point. Make sure that if you're moving them from one software to another, when it comes to integrating any new software into uh, QuickBooks, 
make sure you're moving them into something that's not just temporary, that they can grow into it. Make sure they're in a system that didn't just start last week. New software. I mean, I'm a big believer in new software, but you really want to make sure you're in a good one that's been around for a while, such as Clio, which is the grandfather of all. Lean Law is also very, very good. Uh, I'm trying to think of it, what else we can talk about here when it comes to migration, data migration. As soon as you have a good migration, you're going to find that the efficiency in the, in the workflow is going to be improved drastically or dramatically. Uh, the accuracy will also be improved. The fact that you have quality uh, compliance assurance is definitely there. They can't overstate their trust, which means they're not giving back more money than they took in. Uh, you'll have better decision making because you're looking at quality data. I think that's probably the biggest one. And then you also have some client satisfaction. So the ability to communicate with the client will be there inside of Clio and you'll have a better way to have the attorneys will have a better way of working with their clients. So some of the things you might want to highlight if you're speaking to an attorney. I think the integration of legal and financial systems is critical in this modern world of modern law firm management. As a bookkeeper, it's pivotal to have the knowledge, the working knowledge of all of these systems, at least have some sort of understanding how the main players that you're going to run into and you talk to attorneys and then know which one to put them in, know what ecosphere is best for them, help them learn the product. You get trained in it, you help them be trained in it. And uh, really adhering to the best practices, just so we can create a beautiful workflow for them that's seamless, integrated, and will be undoubtedly worth the money that they're going to invest in, this, in the system. I hope this helps. If you have more questions about data migration or integration of software, feel free to reach out, hit that subscribe button and join our Accountants Law Lab. Bye now.